Hi, welcome again to my YouTube channel. I am happy to know that my channel is growing leaps and bounds. Um, over almost 6,000, uh, almost 7,000 subscribers and uh, over 2 million views. So obviously good things are happening on the Stephen Williams show. Today I want to talk to us again on financial matters. And today we're going, I promise you that we will be looking at um, investing in the stock market. So I prepared a little discourse for us. So here I go. People have asked, how do you invest in the stock market? And the answer is, first of all, you have to um, begin with opening an account. Opening an account begins with going to your bank, talking to them or talk to a broker, all right? Or any other financial institution would be good when you're doing, um, investing in the stock market. Um, next, you need the money, of course, to invest. Um, for, um, it doesn't matter how much money you have just um, start with whatever you have all right there are in some cases there are no maximum and there are no minimum to invest in the stock market um, start with what you have all right the next thing um, you need to know when you invest in the stock market is you can still you can start with a lump sum of money or you can start um, by doing uh, what you call it now a monthly contribution monthly purchase okay um, so the question is how many shares can you buy well the answer is with some stocks you have to buy at least 100 some you can buy one stock others you can buy a fraction or a piece of a stock Take for instance Amazon. Amazon one stock values over twelve hundred dollars. The last time I checked. So if you don't have twelve hundred dollars, what you can do is buy a fraction, a hundred dollars worth, fifty dollars worth. It all depends, right? So some places you can some um, in some cases you can buy a fraction of a um, of a stock. Now, when you buy a stock, you are now a part owner of that company. That is why you invest in good companies because when you see a company doing well, have a good track record, you wish that you could be a part owner of that company. Well, a publicly traded company, as opposed to a privately traded company, allows you to get in on the action and to be a part owner of that company. So Amazon is doing so well, so you can be a part owner of that company, all right, uh, by buying stocks. Um, and they call you, of course, a shareholder when you, um, when you own stock in any traded company, any, even the banks, uh, electrical power companies, you can be a part owner of those companies by just buying stocks on a regular basis. Now, the next thing is, how does a company benefit from you buying their stock? Good question. Well, number one, you are buying their shares, you're buying their stock, some call it stocks, some call it shares. Same thing. You benefit, I mean, the company benefits by, by your buying their stocks, um, they get capital, they get money to expand the business and to run the business, all right? So that's the basic in a nutshell, the company benefit from getting your money and they put it to work to make themselves a better company for, the, for you, your, their, your, their shareholder, all right? So that's how they raise money to carry on the business and to expand the business. Now, the next question is, how do you benefit? How do you benefit from buying shares or stock in any company? 
And of course, the, uh, the answer is the same thing. You can benefit by making money too. So, for instance, if you buy the shares when it was $1, and then later on, a couple years down the line, it goes to $2, and then you have invested $10,000. Now your money would have doubled, right? So you would have made a lot of money that way investing in the stock market. So that's one of the major ways. All right, you can get an income. There are some companies that give what is called a dividend. And the dividend is simply, when the company makes a profit, when they do well, they send out the profit in portions to their shareholders and, and distribute. And so you can get an income, a check, coming maybe sometime monthly for some companies. Other companies, it's, um, it's um, every three months, some a year, etc. But you benefit by getting an increase in the value of your money. Next thing, which stocks you should buy? The question is which stock should you buy? And the answer is it depends on what you are looking for. You have to know what you're looking for. All right. As I said before, some companies um, give dividends. So you can look for a company that just give dividend, you're satisfied. And sometimes along the way, your stock grows as well. So you're both getting the dividend and capital uh, appreciation that, that of the money that you invested, all right? And there are growth stocks. They don't give dividend, but their stocks are growing, all right? So you can look into that as well. What must you consider in deciding which stocks to buy? Well, number one, in a nutshell, you have to consider the type of company. What kind of company is it? Right? How are they relevant to the society? Huh? Um, is it a new company or do they have a track record? Some com new companies go on the stock market, they do well. Right? Others, they, 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 they come and they don't do so well and they fade away and you end, you lose your money but you it's a financial decision you have to make by doing your due diligence to check out what type of company is this and the potential and it's always good to have to invest um, in companies that have a good proven track record right um, that's very important but as I said there's no absolute there, it can have no track record and yet still they come and they just started out and as a starter company they're doing well they're making money and they're making money for their um, shareholders how is the company doing financially is the next thing you have to look at don't just buy into a company because they look pretty and they look nice no buy a company stocks that is doing well financially if a company has, is not doing well if they seem like they're not making sales if they have too many debt too much debt then you know that you have to um, think twice before you buy from that company um, how much revenue is the company producing is something you also have to think about all right um, what are the potential that this company has for growth and expansion? Those are some of the things you look at when you're thinking about analyzing which company to buy. All right. Finally, I don't want to make this thing too long. Um, stock prices, you must know, goes up and it goes down. The stocks are being traded, so some people buy it, some people sell it. It's a market. It's, it's up, it's down, it's up, it's all over the place when you buy it. So, if you bought stocks worth um, $100 worth of stock, at $1 you have, let's say, 100 shares. There are fees, of course. All right? Um, and then you buy the, the, this stock, and then it goes, all of a sudden, you see it goes down, or over time it goes down to 50 um, cent. You bought it at a dollar, but now it's at 50 cent. Oh, what happened? Have you lost money? Technically, no. 
The only time you have lost money in the stock market is when you decide to sell. So even if the price goes to uh, one cent, um, you'll find that it doesn't matter unless you are selling the stock. All right. So doesn't matter whether you want to go up or down. The only time you really lose money is when you you decide to sell. Don't forget that because the stock market they never stagnant. It's up, it's down, it's sideways. Okay. Um, so just bear that in mind. Um, it's only when you sell you lose money. Very important key to remember. And that is why that is why some rich folk will tell you buy, hold, prosper. Buy, hold, buy it, hold it, and prosper. Right? Some people buy it and they see the price go down and they get panic and they sell the next day. Not the way to go. You're supposed to buy low and sell high. All right. However, if you buy and you see the price going down, a wise thing would be check to see if something went wrong with the company. Because it could be that the company is in financial mess and financial trouble. Then it makes no use you watch your money go to zero. Because it can happen. So um, you can hop out. It's better to lose 10%, 20% than lose everything. Alright? So the important thing is always check to find out how your company is doing. Alright. So finally, finally, that is why they say when you're invested in the stock market, invest for the long term. Don't invest for the short term invest for the long term because over time it, uh, it is a proven um, fact that over time the stock market always tend to outdo other investment um, thing apart from real estate and business of course but the stock market tend to give you a reward later on if you have the longevity to hold on and not get panic and sell when the stock goes cheap but as I said if it goes cheap going down and you find that you check and something is wrong with the company it's better to sell than to lose all of your money thank you very much it's a long um, discourse but it's I mean there's a lot of things to cover when it comes to investing in the stock market so what I will do is do a series because there are so many other things I've not said that I need to say Alright, so I'm going to do an, a follow up, so stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, like, um, share the video, comment below to tell me, you know, to ask questions or to make suggestions, etc, etc. Thank you very much for tuning in to the Stephen Williams Show, hope you've learned something, give me a thumbs up if you like it, God bless, take care, bye bye.